All right, we're out here. It's uh, it's windy. I say we. You're right. It's me out here. Um, yeah, it's gusting past 20 miles an hour. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of a little bit about how we fly uh, these bigger rubber models. What I've got here is a um, a Class C altimeter. I don't know a whole lot about this model, so uh, those of you that, that look into it, you know, tell me tell me what you know about it because I know. Absolutely nothing. Uh, it came out of Bob Baker's estate, uh, so it's probably like 35 years old or more, maybe 40, I don't know. Um, I pulled a piece of rubber out of it that was still under tension. <laughs> it looked like it was fossilized. <laughs> it's was, it was pretty bad. Um, anyway, we've got a winding stooge here. Uh, I've got it staked into the ground. and. Um, this is the winder I, I've got. This is basically a, uh, a side winder. You can get these from FAI Model Supply. Not uh, exactly like this one. It's got this uh, locking mechanism here. Um, these are not cheap. They're about $100, uh, which sounds high. But then think about it. How much do you spend on a transmitter? They're, they're not cheap either. Um, so, yeah, it's fairly reasonable, and you only need the, the one. So anyway, let's hook this thing up and wind it. What I've got is uh, a pin running through my uh, wood uh, wood fittings, and it uh, goes through an aluminum tube at the back of the model. This is not my preferred way of winding, but this airplane has a uh, built-in bobbin as it currently is, and so that's how it's set up. So here it goes. Um, don't know how well this is going to go because this uh, airplane has not flown in many years and all I did was uh, trim it this morning with a couple test glides and stuff and uh, had to take a big warp out of the wing after that. So <laughs> this could be a little interesting, but it did look like it wanted to fly, so we're going to try it. Um, I'm flying it on 12 strands of 1 8 old black rubber uh, because I'm an idiot uh, and have my good rubber hiding in the fridge, or sorry, in the freezer under the food and didn't want to go digging for it. So let's see what this gets for us. Um, and yeah, t I told you there are all kinds of problems that have to be fixed here. Um, the tensioner on this uh, propeller does not fit correct. Well, it's all gummed up with 30 plus years of crud. So, uh, so yeah, let's see what we can do here. So, well, we're gonna walk out here, and uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we won't crash this airplane. So, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Um, at least the wind is blowing across the field. So, I mean, it's a pretty day. It's not super cold or anything. It's just windy as can be. So. Not really ideal for this. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get all this to happen somehow. For another. So, all right, here it goes. And that was kind of sketchy. It's really underpowered. Donk! Oh, you poor thing. Okay, so I got this, uh, this propeller home, and um, basically right up in, in this area, right there. Somebody's throwing airplanes at me. Anyway, um, right there is where the, uh, the propeller shaft is bent. So we're going to cut this thing off, and we're going to try to fix it. Hi, Cam. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this works. I just want to kind of document this before I cut it all up and modernize it. This is an old uh, bobbin you see right here. Um, I want to use a crocket hook or something like that. So we'll see. Okay, so if you can see, yeah, there you can see that prop shaft was bent and then bent back in place. So very, very incorrectly. Um, I cut it on the bobbin end. There we go. Yeah. So, one way of getting it done. Be back in a minute. All right. Graceful. Kitty. All right. So, what I have done here is I have come up with my own little setup. 
Let me see there. So we've got um, just a uh, bend over here. It locks into the little bearing. Um, so the spring is, is behind the prop. Um, and we've got a, just a very conventional hook here. And that'll fit a um, hand sand. Let me show you. That will fit a uh, crocket hook if I can. I may have to open it up a little bit. Yep, you don't have to open it up a little bit. But bottom line is it'll it'll fit a crocket hook. So, yeah. So, you can see I opened it up a little bit there, and now the crocket hook slides perfectly on, and we lock into the, uh, the tensioner just fine. Maybe it needs a little more tension. Yep, it does. But this is not the correct type of screw. Let me show you if you can see the um, outline of this screw. You can see it's a, a rounded head. You don't want that. It does not lock very well. So... I'm going to take that out and do it to my standards. This thing's set up. Notice I have these um, rubber bands on the uh, propeller on um, each side to hold it closed. Anyway, we're going to see how this uh, tension really works. And do, 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 do. There's a clicking, a clicking, and it folds. Sort of, maybe. Yeah, it could use a little work, yeah. But you get the point.